Now, Lou, you stopped that. Well, I guess I'd better sit this one out. Well, I always admire a man who thinks for himself. You and Quinn? Today's the fifth, then. All day. Will you kids stay out of this and let these men play their own game? What's he trying to say? When the shadow moon hangs in the sky with the rising sun, is it the owl or the rooster that crows? What? <laughs> you're gonna play or you're gonna wait for the sixth? I'm in for a nickel. It's getting serious. You know, Sam, if I was you, I might just see that nickel. Well, you ain't me. Thank the Lord for small favors. Hell, I'll do it anyway. What do you want? What? I'm out. up to him, Sam. He's bluffing. I'm gonna hate myself for this. Quinn's five. What do you got? <laughs> you didn't think positive. I got time for one more hand. Then I go back to keeping the peace. <laughs> and not a word out of you or I'll be the first to break it. <laughs> Deal them. I'll open for 15 cents. Cody! Come on over. Why? Why? You went and lost our earnings to those sodbusters in Tucson. You're asking me why? Just bad luck. Poker plans in art and in science, and you got a lot to learn, so get over here. Sorry. Not in the mood. Besides, I'm reading. Reading. You call that 10 cent hogwash reading? Give it to. You ought to try it sometime, Jimmy. You might learn something. Like what? Well, for one thing, like how to be a real hero. Well, if that's all you're reading about, let me spare you the trouble. Real heroes learn from doing, not reading. Five cents. Especially trash like that, dreamed up by some city-fied Jackie Dandy, wouldn't know a lasso from lace bloomers. You don't know nothing about the finer things in life. Excuse me. Hey, I was reading that. School's out. Now look what you've done. Hey, I'm sorry. We are just having fun is all, and I wanted you to be a part of it, Cody. Something wrong with that? Look, I'll buy you another damn book if it make you feel any better, all right? All right. But I can still beat you at cards any day. So keep losing at night. Pardon me. I believe this is yours. Well, thanks, mister. But it's useless now. Oh, of course. How stupid of me. Try this one. He's some kind of traveling librarian, mister? No. The name is Marcus. J.D. Marcus? Not the same Marcus that writes these books. Oh, I've been known to spin a tale or two. Well, I'll be. It is an honor, sir, to meet you. Do you think you write something in it for me? You know, something personal? A pleasure. Name's Cody. William F. Cody. To Bill Cody, an ass, an ass. At least he got that right. Jimmy here thinks your stuff's all made up. Is that true? Or do you actually know the fellas you read about? Well, if I may dispense with modesty for a moment, not only do I know them, I made them famous. If they were any good, they wouldn't need you or anybody else to write about them. Word just seems to get around, Mr. Marcus. Yes, usually by people who know how to read. You know, I've seen a lot in my travels. And one thing I can always pick out is a boy who would wet himself if he ever met up with a real gunfighter. 
Read it. You know, your friend here is right. You might learn something. No, thanks. Are you afraid to discover what you're not? Looks like you're the one who wet himself now. Why, you impertinent... Damn it, Jimmy. Why do you always go to the gun? So what happened, Sam? He was going to hit me with that thing. Well, next time, hit him back. Get him out of here. Let's play cards. One moment, Mr. Hickok. I doubt you realize it, but your facility with that six-shooter is the stuff of legend. What? You'll be hearing from me. I'm looking forward to it. Oh. Don't forget your hat. The kind of people you meet in saloons these days. Another day with Jimmy Hickok. Hmm. Legend of Wild Bill Hickok. Son, Rose of Sweetwater. And Wild Bill's destiny was clear from the first. He stood tall with his steely nerve and confidence that no man could stand up to his lightning draw. Only the bravest would dare incur his wrath or face his deadly aim. Fifteen kills in eighteen years. Hmm. Now let's make that twenty kills in eighteen years. His ivory-handled revolver slung low, hand ready, with the unflinching gaze of his gunfighter's eyes, Wild Bill Hickok would become the most feared gun alive. Cody, I got a new 10 center you might want to read. Uh, no thanks, Mr. Tompkins. That stuff don't interest me anymore. Oh, this one might interest you. What's wrong? Look at this. J.D. Marcus's new book. It's all about Jimmy. Read it, Lou. He stood tall, his pearl handle cold, slung low, hand ready. His steely eyes were void of emotion as they glared at the deadly Gabe Calder, who stood just a few feet away. Wild Bill Hickok had earned his <laughs> reputation. 20 kills in 18 years. Little did Calder know that dark and cloudy day, but it was written in the cards that he would be 21. Wait a minute. Jimmy never killed anyone in a standoff, except Longley. Least of all, Gabe Calder. Hell, Calder ain't even dead. He's just been laying low for a few years. What I don't understand is why Marcus make Hickok out to be some kind of hero after the way he showed him up at the saloon. You don't understand, huh? Let me see that. You know what that is? Yeah, I know what it is. It's a bunch of lies, Teaspoon. Well, I know that, and you know that. Nobody else does, do they? And even if they did, it wouldn't matter. You know why? Because that book is saying there's a new king of the hill, and his name is Wild Bill Hickok. Mr. Marcus is setting up Jimmy and cashing in the boot. <laughs> know what you want, because I ain't got nothing here except the mail. Just letters and stuff like that. I'm here for you. Wild Bill. (laughs) 
This is some kind of mistake, friend. That's your picture on the cover, ain't it? Well, it looks like me, but it ain't me. Besides, my name's not Bill or William. It's James, as in James Butler Hickok. Comprende? What's the matter, Hickok? <laughs> you yellow? It's all lies. I'm telling you. You ready? I don't believe this. Um, yeah. Okay, I'm ready. Good. Do us both a favor. Next time you got ten cents, spend it on candy. Jimmy, seems that Marcus fellow we ran into in the saloon wrote a new book. I know. Sure writes fast, don't he? I read it. What do you want, a reward? Especially like the part where you walked into a saloon and Dodge. Was it Dodge? Shot up five men, then shot the chain holding up the chandelier to fall on the other guy's head. Now, that was a fine bit of shooting. Yeah, it was just warming up. Killed 15 more before the day was through. Now, if you'll excuse me. Hey, Jimmy. I'm, I'm telling everyone I'm your sidekick. Sure, why not? Otherwise, I'd have to kill you, too, wouldn't I? Nice evening, ain't it? Thank you. Please pass the spuds and peas. Thank you. And biscuits, please. As you wish. Thanks. <laughs> Mind if I do, Cody? Mm. Mm -mm. Sure is good, Emma. So is this. <laughs> I guess y'all know by now. Being a famous man and all with your picture on books and everything. I heard. Mm -hmm. Are you gonna fund me all day or are we gonna eat? What is it, Cody? Nothing. Yeah, nothing. You got something on your mind, so out with it. We don't got any secrets around here, remember? Well, it's just that, uh... Well, I know you like a brother. And I know you didn't do those things. Now, if you're gonna get this reputation, well, then maybe we who helped you gain your reputation, maybe we ought to cash in on all this rat. What do you think? Stand up, Cody. What? You heard what I said. Stand up. Now. Draw. <laughs> He 
He beats you, Cody. <laughs> That everything? Yeah. Oh, hold it. You forgot Emma's lilac water. Where is it? It's right over there where it always is. I'll get it, kid. You settle up. <laughs> Which one should I get? How should I know? Get them both. Wait a minute. I got an idea. Excuse me, ladies. Maybe you can help us out. Uh, if you had a favorite lilac water, which would it be? I say something wrong? What do you got to go and sell this garbage for, Tompkins? Because it's a moneymaker, that's why. Besides, if you weren't such a big, bad gunslinger, it wouldn't matter, would it? <laughs> Seems like lies will follow a body around close in his own shadow. Okay, if I get started, I gotta make a run. Yeah. Hey, look, it's Wild Bill. Come Let's here. See you back then. All right. What are you looking at? If it ain't Sam Kane. Nice badge you got there, Sam. Ways out of your territory, aren't you, boys? It's raining back home. But we get some sun. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta face a chick, there's a cloud wherever you go. Relax, Sam. All we want to do is wet our whistles. Now, that ain't illegal in your town, is it? You can make Fort Laramie in four hours. You do it there. I'd expect a little more hospitality from an old friend. I ain't friends with hired guns. That ain't the Sam Kane I used to know. You've taken up enough of my time. You saddle up and ride. Mind if I at least buy a plug of tobacco? Marshal? You make it quick. There's one thing I hate. The next gunslinger with a badge. Wild Bill. You forgot something. Wild Bill Hickok. Understand you bushwhacked a friend of ours, Gabe Calder. You understand wrong. I told you to ride out of here. This ain't your fight. It is now. I wouldn't. Now you pick him up and put him on his horse and get the hell out of here. What are you staring at? Show's over. Go on about your business. I want to talk to you. Now! Sam, I didn't do nothing. They came after me. Get it. That almost killed a man just now on account of you, and I want to know why. So what happened? They called me out. Now what is this nonsense about you bushwhacking Calder? Sam, I swear to you, I never bushwhacked nobody. It was that rider, uh, Marcus. With that city slicker you terrorized in the saloon? I didn't give him anything he didn't already have coming. Anyways, you wrote a book about me. What book? I said I killed over 20 men. Including Calder? Yeah. Well, that's just wonderful. You know what's gonna start happening now, don't you? Well, every quick draw and hired gun in the territory is gonna be coming for you. They got reputations to make. I can take care of myself. Yeah, against how many men? Jimmy, I, I got travel the road you're starting on. Only at least one place. To an early grave. Is that what you want? I 
I didn't think so. In case you make a mistake, decide to live up to your new reputation, let me give you some advice. You shoot to kill. It's the only chance you've got. Didn't get much sleep last night, did you? No. Jimmy, it's me. Don't sneak up on me like that. What? Never mind. me? I asked if you're reading about me. Why are you reading that trash? Give me that. Oh, I'm sorry. Here, take it. Please come back. Here, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This ain't gonna help, Teaspoon. Well, it can't hurt. Know what your problem is? Yeah. It's hotter than hell outside, and I'm sitting in a damn sweat lodge. You don't know the difference between fact and fiction. I do know it. It's just that everybody else thinks that I'm some kind of killer. Well, ain't the truth, is it? If enough people believe it. A lie ain't no different than the truth. Jimmy, why don't you look deep inside yourself and tell me there ain't a little part of you that likes being talked about, being made a big man. No. You sure? Okay, maybe at first, but not anymore. Because I hate it. Good. That ain't as big a problem as it could be. It ain't? No. See, if you take a lie, start believing in it, then you become that lie. Then you ain't yourself no more. What do I do now? Well, some lies do have a way of spreading like fire through straw. What you gotta do when that happens is lay low for a while. Hope it'll burn itself out. That's what I'm trying to do, Teaspoon. I mean, hell, I ain't never killed Gabe Calder. And I almost got Sam caught up into a gunfight because a couple of his friends thought I did. Well, I ain't saying it ain't a problem. It's a problem, all right. It's a big one, but... Son, in the end, all you got is your truth. Hold tight to that. Hell, that's all any of us has got. Hey, 
It's open. What is it? Oh, I hope this is not some lengthy interruption. I'm a very busy man. I don't have time to fool. I look pretty good for a dead man, wouldn't you say? Do I know you? The name's Calder. You wrote I was killed in a gunfight. You were wrong. Oh, well, that, uh, I can explain about that. You see, what I wrote... Well, it's a book, isn't it? I mean, it's fiction. It's not real. What about Hickok? Is he real? Yes. I just invented some of the things that I said he did in the book. Like killing me. You made that kid a hero at my expense. Oh, no, no, no. Please, now. You must understand that was not my intention at... Oh, shut up! Well, please, let me explain, because... Oh, oh, oh. Oh. <sighs> Where can I find him? A town called Sweetwater. He rides for the Pony Express. Garbage. The trash that people read. I'm sure you won't mind starting over. Only this time it turns out a little different. This time I end up on top. If that's all right with you. After I take care of Hickok, I'll be back for you. Somebody really put you through it, boy. Is there something I can do for you, mister? Marshal, there's going to be a killing. I'm here to stop it. I've seen you before. Marcus. Haven't you caused enough trouble already? Marshal. What's done is done. That doesn't matter. But what does matter is that Gabe Calder and his gang are coming after Hickok. Are you sure about that? They're on the 11 o'clock stage. I rode straight through to warn him. Oh, that's mighty big of you, Marcus. Why? <laughs> because I feel badly about what I wrote, and I wanted to set things right. That ought to do it. I, I, I'll be on my way, Sam. known your kind before, Marcus. Kind of like a vulture. Causing trouble, then hanging around waiting. Figuring that one way or the other, there's going to be a dead body left behind when it's over. Well, let me tell you something. If anything, anything at all happens to Jimmy Hickok, you're going to answer to me. Cole! Oh. What is it, Jesse? The Calder gang's coming for young Hickok. Come on, Jesse. I ain't making this up. I just heard it. I appreciate you bringing my boots to me, Jesse. in the street. Yes, here we go. Room 27, second door on your left. Thanks.
gang's coming on the morning stage. Oh, oh. there's Alex. Where are they going? Didn't you hear, stranger? The Calder gang's coming. I heard. Well, give me another whiskey. Look, son, they could cause a lot of problems to somebody who happens to be in their sight. Yeah, I guess so. Scared. Can't say I blame him. Calder and his boys got a nasty reputation. Keep an eye on things. I'll be back shortly. Where are you going? About them, Mr. Warren Hickok. Looks like trouble's coming. You deputize as many men as you need. Just do me a favor. Keep it low key for now, all right? All right. Hurry back. Don't worry, stage ain't due for a while yet. Good morning, Emma. Howdy, Sam. Good morning, Marshal. Where's Hickok, kid? Is he out on a run? Caller's due on the morning stage. Coming after Jimmy? Yep. Will he be back? A couple hours, maybe. Will you tell him to lay low and stay out of sight? If he comes into town, I won't be able to help him. Make sure to tell him that. I will. Come on, boy. Yeah. Yeah. Saddle me a horse, kid. Where are you going, Emma? Find him. Emma, don't you think he... Never mind. Exactly a rousing reception. Excuse me, Mr. Calder, sir. Would you and your friends mind if I if I were to take your photograph? <laughs> sure. Why not? Come on, boys. Let's help this man out. This here photograph's gonna end up in the history books. You know Hickok? <laughs> Where would I find him? Emma Shannon's place, a few miles down the South Road. Hold real still now. Hickok, I can't rightly say as I know such a person. <laughs> the name's Calder. Tell your friend I'll be waiting for him in town. Yeah? With you, boy. I'm trying to keep you alive here. What happened? Oh. 
shoulder. Make it. Slow. It's gonna be all right. What about the others? They're at the livestock auction, Harper Ridge. Get them to the doctor. Jimmy, wait. Where do you think you're going? Well, try and stop me, Emma. Not this time. Don't be a fool. That's what he wants. I guess he's gonna get it. Jimmy! There's four of them. Live through this, Jimmy. My God. <laughs> Something funny? No. Sorry. All right, I'm out. Five cents. Calder? You here for Hickok? He's making a reputation at my expense. Forcing me to teach him a lesson. <laughs> Too bad he won't be around to benefit. Yeah, well, it ain't gonna happen here. I want you to leave town. Now. Are you calling on me, Marshal? If you don't leave. Be out in a minute. You're not going up against him, are you, Sam? Get up on the roof over there. It's a fair fight. Stay out of it. If not, don't miss. Yeah. Don't you think we have... Move! Calder! Let's get it over with! Here's to be your move now, Marshal. Hey! Marshal! Wrong place, wrong time, Marshal. Calder! Hickok. You wanted me? You more trouble than you work, boy. That's what they say. Don't do it, Calder. Don't do it. Don't do it. One more chance, Hickok. Ah! Ah! 
Hickok, do it! Finish me off! Hickok, damn you! Hickok! Hickok! Don't leave me like this! Hickok! Hickok, damn you! Finish me! Hickok! I'm no good this way, Hickok! Somebody get this garbage off the street. Hickok, don't leave me! You handle yourself well, Jimmy. But this could be the beginning of a whole new kind of hell. What happened, son? Hickok! gonna write about Jimmy no more, Marcus. Just a minute. You can't. Hey, we can and we will. Now, wait a minute, boys. The man may have a point. Let me see that. Mm, you know, I used to be a man of letters myself, and I despise the notion of limiting an author's creativity. What do you want? Well, I believe the uh, subject of Wild Bill Hickok can be put to rest right now. Of course, you want to write this, you can. But I guarantee you, me and my boys will hunt you down like a dog, no matter how long it takes. <laughs> well, you wouldn't dare. It'd be our pleasure. On the other hand, I got this idea for a new ending. So you got this Wild Bill Hickok character, and he gets wounded in a gunfight. And while he's on the mend, he has a change of heart. So he hangs up his guns, and he gets himself to California and buys a beautiful farm. And he lives happily ever after. Mr. Marcus, what do you think? For your sake, I hope you like it too. Whatever you say. But I hope you realize that what happened here today can't be suppressed. True, false, it doesn't matter. It's the stuff of legend. The sort of legend a young, growing country needs. It doesn't matter what I write. It's the kind of story that takes on a life of its own. <laughs>